Welcome to today's MT4 trading tutorial where we're going to have a look at setting up profiles. Now profiles are very, very helpful. They enable you to set up all the charts that you wish to have open and at your fingertips at any one time. So you can use them to have all your charts on the one screen down the bottom in the tabs down here, or you could actually have different time frames so you can flick between different time frames or you might have different uh, indicators across all of those charts in one go. So profiles enable you to be quite efficient and move around the platform and open up the charts that you need to and you need to access quickly so you can get to the, the information you need a lot faster. So let's have a look here. Right now I'm in the default template. Now in order to get to profiles, go to file, profiles and then you'll see them listed here now yours will come with a default so normally what people do is they work from the default and then they change them up so then I'd recommend going save as profile save as and overwrite the default one there okay now you'll notice what I've done is I've set up indices forex and commodities now this is where I'm suggesting you might want to have different time frames so let's say you concentrate on the forex majors what you could do is set up a Forex Majors one hour chart, Forex Majors 30 minute chart, Forex Majors five minute chart. You get the drift. So in this case, what I've done is I've set up indices. So you notice they've got the DAX, the Dow Jones, the FTSE, China, S&P 500, the Aussie, S um, Aussie 200, and the Nikkei 225 there. If I go to the next profile, you'll see Forex. I haven't got all the Forex pairs, but pretty much concentrating on the Forex Majors there. So you could add some other ones, of course. And then commodities as well. So once again, crude, gold, gold versus Aussie dollar, silver, Brent, and copper commodities there. So let me just go back to the Forex tab. So let's say I wanted to add another Forex pair and I go Euro pound. I right click, bring up chart window. And then what I'll do is I right click, go to template. And then I'll left click on my template so it brings it up the same so now what i can do is i can actually save this particular template uh, sorry profile if i wanted to so what i'm going to do is just go file profile save as and it brings up the drop down menu enabling me to save it as the same one so if i just want to override it i could put it there if i wanted to otherwise i would type in a new profile name so let me click on 002 forex click ok and then it says just make sure you want to override it yes or no I'll click on yes. So now if I go to profiles default, profiles forex, you'll notice that the my euro pound has come up on the hourly time frame there. So profiles are very, very easy to set up and they just make you enable you to navigate around the MT4 platform a lot quicker, a lot easier, and you can bring up your favorite ones there. Now, one last thing I want to show you is how you can access all your profiles. Now, not everyone knows this, and if you watch my template video, you'll notice that I did show this at the end of the tutorial as well. So if you've already seen this, don't you don't have to watch any further. But let's go to File. I want to show you where all your profiles are located. So if you go to File and then Open Data Folder, it brings up the data folder relative to the platform that you're on. So if you've got multiple MT4 brokers, you will have multiple data folders here. So you'll see templates and profiles. We wanna have a look at the profiles right now, but you will have multiple platforms or you'll have multiple folders if you have multiple platforms. So we always recommend, or I always recommend going to file, open data folder from the platform that you've got open, from the MT4 account that you have open at the time. Now let's go into profiles and you'll notice that there are these profiles here. Now when you view yours, you'll have some of the pre-existing ones that your MT4 was loaded with when you first downloaded it from the provider that you're with. So in this case, you can see we've got these ones here. So if I wanted to, I could change the name of it. If you do any changes here, you actually need to close down your MT4 platform and then open it up again because those changes won't be saved until you've actually closed it down and then open it back up again. So that's how you can access your templates of profiles in this case, and then you can delete them if you wanted to. Okay, so hopefully you found this MT4 tutorial on the profiles helpful. And if you do, feel free to like the video or subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on. And of course, good luck with your trading. Thank you.